Hi, I wanted to give you a quick overview of how you can optimize images for your website that can help your SEO and also your website load speed, as well as your overall usability of your website. So there's a couple of different facets here. The image dimensions are the first facet. So that would be like when you get those huge files from a photographer or from your phone that are 3000 by 5000 pixels, those are far too large for your website. You want to shrink those down. Um, you can save the original file and make a copy of the file in a smaller size and make sure that the dimensions are the right size for the place you're putting it on your website. Also, the file size is very important. And so those huge files that you get from your phone or from a photographer, those are going to be um, tens of megabytes. Uh, and what you want to do is get your web, your images down to, you know, kilobyte size. So um, in order to do that, you can um, use compression. You can also make sure that it's set for web DPI, which is generally 72 or 90 DPI, which stands for dots per inch or PPI pixels per inch. Um, and then you can also use a tool like uh, Tiny PNG, which uses lossy compression to reduce the file size and strip out a lot of the background data, but leave the image quality. That's my favorite tool. So tinypng.com is a really good tool. Um, you also want to make sure that you're using the right file type. So you don't want to be uploading a .ai file or a .psd file. You want to use a .png or JPEG. And then, and, and so these elements are really for the file itself. You do all of these things before you even upload it into your website. Um, you can also select a file name before you upload it to the website. You can also rename your file once it's in there, but you could use descriptive keywords in your file name and that's going to help you stay organized. And it's also going to give context to the search engines for what this image is and what the other information around the image is about as well. Um, image title follows the same type of rules. Um, it's another place to use applicable keywords, but you want to also make sure that you're not just stuffing a bunch of keywords in there. If you have different variations of keywords around a similar topic, I would recommend using those variations, those synonyms in these different places. The final element is the image alt tag, which is now required by ADA laws. Um, and this helps describe the image to the user in the code and also if the user is using a screen reader. So you wanna maximize the value of your alt tag uh, by using keywords and you want to uh, provide that extra service to those who might be visually impaired and can't see the content of the image that you've provided. So I hope that this has been helpful. Image optimization is so important and is such a big factor in your website load speed. Many, many people overlook their image optimization when creating their website and then don't understand why their website is taking so long to load. These are very small tweaks you can make right up front before you even get anything onto your website that's going to give you a world of difference. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm Gwen Barron, CEO of Illuminous Marketing.